So what you can see behind me is 28 tons of bittersweet apples. And this is really where the process of cider making starts. We have a unique system of moving our apples and that's done using waterways. And we flood the bays with water, so the water carries the apples down the gradient and down the river, and it moves them all day long and off to the press. The apples come up on the elevator, onto the sorting table. It goes through all the rollers until the final roller, where it gets an extra bit of pressure, squeezes out the last of the juice. The pomace comes out the back into a trailer and then gets taken away. And the apple juice collects into that uh, feeder there, into the bath, and every 200 litres it activates the pump, goes uh, through the pipes into the next room, into all the tanks in there. We pump the juice into a vessel. We take that juice and to turn it into cider, we need to create alcohol. So we add yeast. We also add sugar to create more alcohol. Then that takes roughly two weeks. It's created the alcohol that we want. The cider will then improve from anywhere up to eight months, and then it's ready to go to bottling. Bottles start coming in on a pallet, empty. The bottles will then be pushed onto a ski slope. Once it's onto the ski slope, individually, they'll go into the filler, they'll get a quick wash, then they'll go into the main filler with the drill heads. Uh, that will fill the bottles up with the product that we're doing. Then it will be capped with the cap on top. Then it'll be put into the pasteurizer where the pasteurizer uh, essentially burns the product. And then it'll enter the labeling machine where they're labeled. Um, they'll get the front label, back label, and then come out of the labeling machine, that's it, ready to be packed into boxes. And then boxes put onto pallets, and then that's it, that's our, that's our job done.